Hey guys, so I just made like a 30 minute video um, and I took nine years to get ready because I had to take nine years to do my eyebrows. But hey, welcome to the video. I'm Beauty Wife or Lex or Alexis, whatever you want to call me. Um, but I'm just, this is like a get ready with me video right now, which I'd like just talked, but I'm just going to remake it so it's not like seven years long. Um, just talking about how like right now I'm going to do more like conspiracy theories and like talk about like current events that are not the negative current events just so you have an outlet for like positivity funny stuff um you know discuss things that are i mean obviously be aware in the world do your part stay home if you're sick stay home when things reopen if you're still sick or think you might be exposed things stay home um all i'm going to say on that piece i've been doing my part get to file employment tomorrow but everyone is some people are essential go off sis be safe make that money though um you know, and I get things, you know, there's a lot of the plane. Obviously, we want the death toll to, we want people to not be sick. We want to have the supplies, but also, you know, the economy sadly still needs to be stimulated. Um, you know, people's mental health, that's a big thing. You know, being trapped in your house can really do some damaging things that way. And, you know, I don't want anyone to die from mental illness or anything like that because that's really sad. But I am praying for the best. Um, I think April we will unfortunately get smashed um but I think by mid-May and stuff like that things have to just kind of go on with life and I really hate saying that um but even when that happens you know if you're feeling sick stay home don't go to a mall if it's open don't go to a store don't bring your kids like if you need to personally shop to just like hey I'm making money again and like I need to buy a shirt so after all this I feel better with life like you know do it if you need to get your hair cut and you're healthy like in the salons open that you trust like do it but just like don't bring all your friends still you know distance don't hang out with a bunch of people at once but you know check in on your friends zoom call them house party them facetime them google hang out them that little facebook thing when you talk a bunch of people i don't know i don't really use i only use video facebook chat for one person that's my niece cameron um but yeah so we're gonna talk about I guess two topics because there's fun. So one thing, I do want to shout out a YouTuber. You should check her out if you are into a bunch of different animals. Um, she is more of like, she does it correctly. She's not breeding things and being some Joe Exotic stuff. But her name is Steph J. She's super, super nice. Um, sweet girl. I believe she lives in Mexico. Cameron, correct me if I'm wrong. Um... But yeah, she's shouted out my niece twice, and I just think that's, like, super cool. Um, my niece Cameron, you know, dyed her gr hair green because her hair is green. And my sister made, like, a Barbie that's, like, custom-made to look like her, which is super cool. My sister is awesome. She goes off. Um, and Steph has shouted out twice. My niece, you know, has, like, which is cool for everyone to do, you know, if you want to, you know, do a style or inspired stuff from your favorite either makeup brands or YouTubers or whatever and Steph J shouted her out both times and she even like sent her stuff um you know she asked my sister the first time it happened you know can I can I send her some free stuff and obviously my sister she private messaged her you know not just like put it on her Facebook page and she was like of course but then Cameron did one of her twinning and she shared it yesterday and was like my little twin is twinning with me again like this makes me so happy which obviously a lot of youtubers who are sincere about their fans and going obviously when anytime going someone hard work if someone you know is there for them or dedicate something like that's super cool so go off Cameron you're gonna squeal when I say your name in this video and that's what I want um but yeah so shout out her that's pretty dope she's a really interesting youtuber I know she does like vlogs and animal stuff and animal rescue stuff um I think she does hair dye and stuff and like what she does to her hair Maybe makeup, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but yeah. And I also, my niece camera watches a lot of conspiracy theories, so I'm like kind of going to get into that and like maybe talk about weird stuff with that. Um, but yeah, so that might be in the works, like a get ready. Basically, I'm going to be doing get ready with me videos, random topics of life or whatnot, or this is what my life is doing in the quarantine while I can't work life. Um so as much as it's going to suck to file unemployment for me it's a little more safe because even if we were to open yesterday I probably wouldn't go to work with everything spiking and probably wouldn't go to work till like end of April beginning of May um with my health so and I don't want to infect others I don't want to go to the hospital and if I were to get sick I'd rather have it be when we are more in control and really help the people um which is what my stay is trying to do so hopefully every stay and hopefully the world but you know 
anyways, so obviously the whole internet right now is either coronavirus, whether it's real facts, fake facts, old or old <laughs> things. Look at your dates when you're reading stuff and your sources, I'm going to say. Um, uh, Joe Exotic in that whole shenanigans or Animal Crossing with Joe Exotic and Animal Crossing. We're totally fine with that. We we live for those. Um, I'm on episode four, so I'm off the episode right after like you learn about Carol's sketchy life and like why there's a murder in this thing. I mean, obviously, I feel like everyone knows if I'm spoiling something, I'm super sorry. Regardless, it is one of those documentary shows type thing where if something was spoiled, you're like, damn, I heard about this. Like, I still need to watch this because this is, it's crazy insane. Like, it's very entertaining. Um, If someone, you know, documentaries, if there's certain documentary topics that like, kind of animal cruelty but kind of not so far it's more like breeding animals and like you shouldn't leave them in cases obviously they're about like tigers and big animals and like breeding and trading of exotic animals which is really messed up but um you know like you don't get gory details about stuff it's more like weird things that you're like damn I can't believe people be like this so it's more a weird entertainment and it's definitely something that if you're trapped in the house you can still for Netflix or have friends or family you know you can watch it together not like join and like not social distance like if you live in the same household or whatever or like whatnot um very interesting my mom's even watching it so we all been on the phone and stuff like that talking about it super weird um I hate Carol she definitely killed her husband and fed it to Tiger or whatever um she a big hypocrite they all be wild her and that Doc guy, I can't. And Doc is the biggest creep ever on the planet. Um, and I just like how they pay their workers shitty for working like 20 hours a day. Like so fucked up. Messed up. Sorry, I'm trying not to swear as much. Um, especially on YouTube. But, and then like Joe Exotics. Like people have hands down the worst conditions of living like, eat expired meat and stuff. Like, what in the world? Um, and he pays him, like, $125. I think that's, like, what one of the dudes said. And it's just, like, how can you do that to people? That's so sad. That's so messed up. Um, especially, like, 20 hours and, like, risky business jobs. Like, that one person, um, I heard that they are trans. So, that she is male to female. They are male female to male sorry um so he got his arm bit off and that is crazy um damn that's some shit that's all I'm saying but yeah like there's just such crazy stuff and I know they refer to him as she in the documentary so I don't know if I just know that they were like not but like you know I don't know if they were told in the documentary or not but Joe Exotic like I mean, props to him for, like, hiring felons and stuff, but, like, also not props to them because, like, you treat them like absolute fucking shit. And Carol makes bank and, like, knows how to social media and, and like, market off that. And all her workers are all volunteers, which is fricked up. I don't think they go in cages and really play with anything for that, but still, like, so messed up. Like, I get some volunteers, you know, with, like, zoos or, like, nonprofits and stuff like that, like, sometimes, but, like, still, like... A lot of people who are working a lot harder in like long hour days like pay them like what the heck but she honestly is like give her props a little bit because she be killing people killing her ex-husband stealing all that money and has so far got away with murder um i mean not like props like go off because it's really messed up but i mean she kind of smart we'll give her that and then the whole like basically brainwashing people to work for her when she's not paying them and her now husband is like clearly brainwashed because he definitely comes off as the person like she snaps her fingers and he's like yeah what can I do for you you know um but and that whole thing with the murder thing and that yeah, and she just I just could not handle it she's like hey all you cool cats and kins I'm like oh cringy please stop but she is also a super hypocrite because she like goes after Joe and all them and like gets tries to get him shut down and obviously like they literally are at war like straight up he says some crazy things about her um but you know she has I guess like she's a sanctuary rescue but like 
still like she's showing them all off and like making money and I feel like it should be like more of a donation thing and like taking care of them and not like showing them off and her conditions for her animals still like the cages and everything don't look that big and for someone who's just like so passionate about saving them honey you kind of suck at life so that is my spiel on her not gonna lie in that but it's so entertaining and like him singing country music and just like how narcissistic they all are I'm like um but I like did feel bad that about his dad like hating him for being gay and then like he tried to commit suicide and that's like why obviously he's a little crazy and then like he had like animal therapy and that's kind of like or his obsession regardless of obsessions like not good but that that part's kind of sad I mean I figured something traumatic happened to him um but it'd be wild it's a wild, wild world. That's all I'm saying. But I was watching like a a podcast or listening to one um, of Noelle Miller and Cody Co. They have the Tiny Meat podcast and they were talking about that documentary and like explaining it more kind of how I am. And that's why I'm like, ooh, I should watch this because this actually sounds really interesting. And they were kind of talking about how Netflix um, one, like seems to be like they're one-upping their documentaries and it's like, what are they going to do from here, you know? Um, I kind of feel like I know what spiel people are going to go through with documentaries eventually. Um, but they had, like, the 10 Bundy tapes, which I didn't watch. So that, like, makes me feel uncomfortable a little bit. Um, obviously, Don't F With Cats, which definitely I'm not watching because I will not be able to sleep at night. And what other one did they have before that? Making a Murder kind of started it all. I, I never watched that. It didn't really interest me. And then um, now this, after Don't F With Cats, which is like things that everyone was like popping off and talking about like nonstop and making memes and all that stuff. So, I mean, I guess go off Netflix, but at the same time, it's just like, dang, you know? Um, so it's like, what are they going to go through next? So, um, obviously the whole virus thing is a serious thing. But let's be real, when things are more tamed in the world, or at least in the U.S., because some people just don't give an F about other countries, especially a lot of YouTubers, who, like, you know someone out there is going to be like, oh, this is my documentary, like, this is my vlog, I, I survived coronavirus. You, someone out there, I mean, some people might do it educationally and, like, you know, to show us what really went on in the world. Like, I, that's not as terrible. They're just, like, show what happened in like historical wise but like someone's going to be like extra douchey and trying to like super capitalize off of it um I mean obviously there's a lot of scandals with it right now in general which is super sad and whatnot but some youtubers will make some douchey video like that or some like conspiracy which like some conspiracy things are all right if they're more like on an educated like what if this happened way not like I don't know I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say it's just like in my mind but I don't know how to say it out loud um, but like someone like Jake Paul or some dumbass YouTuber like that is going to do something. I could definitely see, which I'm indifferent of this person right now. Um, maybe Shane Dawson doing something about it. Um, but I mean, like if someone made this thing, like how it affect the world and like death and like interviewing people who really went through it um economy wise and you know being sick wise losing people wise seeing people you know die wise which is super sad to think about um I definitely can I can see that coming obviously not at the moment um a because they probably want more research and b obviously that would be like super insensitive at least right now um but yeah the whole Joe Exotic thing I was like wow it's very a wild it's wildness and I don't mean that because it's wild animals I mean like whoa man um very interesting but so yeah I'm just gonna kind of like talk about topics like like random things so people can kind of get their mind off things and you know relevancy because the world right now is the virus Joe Exotic and Animal Crossing which the first Joe Exotic and Animal Crossing we can talk about 900 times Obviously, stay inform informed of what's going on in the world in your state or wherever you live so you know what to do and what not to do. Do your part. Stay home. Um, if you have to work, work. You know, don't do it. When things 
open up like my type of work salons and stuff like you know i can't wait to get my haircut i haven't got my haircut in a year and i'm definitely gonna go to a salon i think also probably and support that um you know if you can afford to buy something buy something if not be money smart like i am um or the world should be i think there's things we obviously can learn from this what else was I going to say? But anyone who's working right now, whether it's a grocery store, healthcare, like Amazon, like you, I hope you stay safe. Um, but you are also like prime person, like go off, um, you know, stuff like that. But when stores start to open, malls open, I mean, still kind of social distance if you can, just because, you know, we still need a, but the world's going to have to eventually go back to things, which is scary. Um, but you know, once you go back to work, still if you're sick stay home don't be around people even if you think the slightest even if you think you're exposed to something in general you know stay home let people know if you're sick i think in general if someone's sick whether it's anything that could be a contagious type of thing um cold flu virus not something like i mean obviously there's serious diseases that people have but are kind of harder to transmit to others um but you know still take precautions i think you always should i think Good hygiene is always a thing. I hope people can really learn from that. How important washing your hands and cleaning. Don't hoarder things because that's really stupid and really crappy because people need to clean and to keep themselves safe and clean up after people who are sick with whatever. Um, that is my life advice in this situation. Um, I've been staying safe, obviously. Um, it sucks that I have to file employment. I'm glad that Shane's technically essential even though like, I'm glad he's being safe and it kind of scary. Um, but I would definitely get hit hard by this disease with my underlying condition. So we a little scared on that point. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of topics to talk about. I guess, I mean, I just saw like a drama alert video my recommended or not drama alert, actually creating kaboom because I think there's actually something called drama alert. Um, that apparently like Jaclyn Hill gave up makeup, which, um, obviously I'm going to do my research, read something about before I speculate or anything like that. Um, you know, I hope she's okay. I know she's got a lot of things going on. I hope a lot of people are okay. I wouldn't wish anything bad or deal with any of these really big things going on in the world that are really affecting on anyone, even my worst enemy. Um, but yeah, sorry, that got really deep and like really morbid kind of the last minute. So we'll quick touch on something not as bad. Um, Animal Crossing's dope. I've been playing it. I'm pretty, pretty decently far. I got a lot of stuff going on in there. I've been playing with my best, one of my best friends that we just became really close. We were work coworkers, Shauna. Um, that's who I went to Duluth with before the world got crazy. Um, and then my niece Cameron, or my niece, sorry Cameron, you don't have a Nintendo Switch, but I hope you get your laptop and I miss you again already. Um, my niece Emma got a Switch, like the big Switch for Christmas, so obviously that was a while ago. She's been playing Animal Crossing. And then my niece Jada, she just got a Switch in Animal Crossing so we can like I'll play together online, which is super cool and excited for that. I told her to make a Southern Hemisphere. I'm such a bully. So I can go catch a... D I just want a damn shark and someone tell me how I can get a freaking alligator to live in my island. I just I just want an alligator. I just want a freaking alligator because there's a lot of inside jokes with alligators and stuff with me. Um, but I really want an alligator. So if you know how to do these things, comment below or message me on Facebook because... Your girl needs to know because I don't have an, I mean, I saw my Instagram profile, my Twitter, I didn't deactivate anything, but I'm just not using it right now because it's just too much anxiety and I just need to self-heal about life. So, um, Pixie lip gloss is dope. P Pixie skincare I really like. I'm just plugging these. Um, but yeah, once I'm working again and stable and things are up and I will do a lot more reviews, but I might just do like get ready with me, these kind of conversations, some fun, weird things. Or, you know, products I am using that I love or, you know, doing those looks that a lot of people do, you know, fun like, oh, let's do a blah, blah, blah makeup of this era um, or review things that either are empties I finally went through or like products I'm like, I haven't used this in forever and I really miss it. Just like the peach palette um, or the Just Peachy Matte palette. Um, love that palette. I really do. I traveled with that a lot. Not the last time I went in Florida, but in 2017 when I went to Florida. So... Um, my other advice, I mean, obviously, like I said, the world's got to go back to normal eventually, scarily, I know. Um, but still, like, you know, make goals when things get better. Like, I want to, maybe if you can, you know, go to a hardware store, or have some go. Like, when it gets nice, if you have, you can, if you can make plants or gardens or anything like that. Like, do that, make, 
you know, make a routine for yourself. Learn how to cook something maybe that you really want to learn to cook or practice yoga at home. I mean, there's so many online resources. I know Planet Fitness has a lot of online stuff right now. You know, things that you could do to better yourself. If you can go for a walk, as long as you know you're social distancing, I'm probably going to do that. Go for a walk. Um, check in on your friends and your loved ones. Check in with yourself. Read some books. Study some things you want to learn about, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of what I'm doing. I finally, like, I, I don't know if I said my last video because I filmed that so many times. Finally found a book that I read. I'm going to really go through my comics and read a bunch of those finally because I just collect a lot of books and comics just like makeup. I just impulse buy. So, but miss the comic book store. I cannot wait for things that better. I really want to go back. Um, you know, do things, research, write, whether it's personal journaling or blogging or reflecting on things from the past to get over, write a short story, write some poems, write some lyrics. You know, try to some positives that you can do to cope with things. Obviously, it's it's hard, but, you know, just trying to give my best advice. Um, but, yeah, sit in your yard if you can or on your deck and grab a chair and read a book or just lay there in the sun and soak it up. I'm probably, once it's warm enough to do that here in Minnesota, honestly, I'm going to be like, hey, mom, because she lives right next to you, can you just, like, drop a chair off of my porch? And then take that chair and like lay in my backyard and just chill and read or write. Just lay there and listen to music and soak up the sun. Use protection though. Use sunscreen. Don't get burnt. You know, don't get skin cancer. That's scary. But um, yeah, so do some things. Enjoy life as much as this is hurting a lot of people as much as you can. So, you know, plan things, whatever. Look forward to things. Make a joke if you need to, to get through it. I mean, obviously there's a lot of serious times and people are going through things, but sometimes people just need that little sad, morbid humor to just get through it all, you know? Um, but try to think positive, do your part, stay home if you can, help people if you can, um, but be safe, do your part. The sooner we do that, the better it will calm down because it's not going to go away, but yeah, so this is my video. Um, watch Tiger King if you can. It's pretty insane um other shows i watch haunting a hill house i hope season two which is like haunting of like something manor hope they release that kind of soon honestly if, if they got the editing done that'd be cool um other shows i like you know reality tv watch some of that love jersey shore love love island really a riverdale fan 13 reasons why unless you're over that whole thing i'm enjoyed it obviously some things really didn't need to be in there and some things didn't need to be exaggerated but whatever um but yeah enjoy some things take time to read or watch movies or focus on things if you can or have the resources well this is my video as deep as it got again dang it um but yeah play with makeup be creative paint i don't know draw i can't do drawing or painting but i wish i could so share your art because that'd be cool um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was good to talk to you Tomorrow or the next day, whenever I make a video, I'm trying to upload more since obviously I have lots of time on my hands. Um, topics you want me to talk about, anything like that, conspiracy theories, I'll do my research. I ain't got nothing better to do. Um, love you guys, stay safe, love yourself, and be there for the people you need to be there for. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!